straight popping on YouTube right now so I figured I had to follow it up with an absolute banger I got some footage from about a year ago it's the gnarliest the wildest the most absolute crazy stunt I've ever attempted I got absolutely smoked which is why I'm calling it an epic fail and I'm hyped to walk you guys through the process of why I even thought about doing this and pretty much how it went down. So it was December of 2019. I was up in Santa Cruz, California for a big surf contest. I was with my girlfriend at the time, a couple of the Santa Cruz boys, my filmer, and we were psyching, dude. It was an epic event. It was a good time to be alive, dude, and the waves were firing. I was suiting up for my heat and the contest and the Santa Cruz boys were telling me, dude, there's this huge cliff jump, bro, and at high tide, you can go off the top portion and maybe even like go straight into the lineup. And uh, I was like, damn, that sounds sick, dude. You know, being the fucking wild man that I am, being the thrill seeker that I am, I was frothing on it. We walked out of the contest. We walked out of the cliff's edge. And um, the boys were like, oh, it's high tide. It's perfect for it. And before my heat, I was like, I might just send one. And the boys were like, you won't, you won't. Like, send it, send it. Everyone was firing me up to jump off the top edge of the cliff. And from the top portion of the cliff to the water, it's probably like 30 feet maybe even 40 feet at low tide. It's a big cliff jump, especially, you know, with your surfboard, especially trying to land in the wave with your surfboard. And I was pretty much trying to set the world record for the largest acid drop from a cliff or a man-made surface into a wave. Um, you know, Noah Dean did a pretty big one. Nate Fletcher did a couple big ones. Nate Fletcher actually pioneered these jumps and a couple of the biggest acid drops ever. He has a legendary photo with Nelly in Santa Cruz trying a huge acid drop at Steamer Lane and at another spot um, north of town. And dude, it was just iconic. So everyone was around, everyone was firing me up. I was psyched, dude, and um, pretty much came down to the moment of jumping and I actually got pretty close to landing in the wave with my board. So after my heat and the contest, I went back up there and I, kept jumping i wanted to land in the wave i wanted to time it better and i wanted to stomp it like in the transition with my surfboard and just completely ride out and uh gave it a couple good goes a couple good attempts um but it was really hard to time and it was really high up i feel like the one where i was actually in the wave and like in the transition the impact of falling from like 30 feet up just like gave out on my legs um and i had one where i went like straight to the flats at the end of the day which you'll see um, and my board broke into two pieces. It was pretty hectic. It was, it was pretty gnarly. Um, but yeah, I'll walk you through these videos that we got right here. A couple iPhone clips and a couple telephoto lens clips that, uh, Hunter and Ryan Johnson filmed from like way down the way with their big lenses. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, honestly, this is the perfect one. It's might break too much. No, 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 this is it. Send it, full send it. Buddy! Oh! Watch out, go. Go, 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 go. Go! Oh! Oh, he actually committed! Alright, so you can see the cliff is packed with spectators right now. And that's because there's a surf contest going on at Steamer Lane. And I'm just attempting huge, death-defying cliff jumps into waves while people are surfing in a competition. And these slow-mo pulled-back clips that Ryan Johnson got really allows you to see like how hard it is for me to time and how big of a jump it is. And right here, actually, was me surfing in the finals of the contest. I ended up getting second in the whole contest and uh, had a pretty epic event. 
And then right here we have the last clip of the day where you can hear my board break right here. So there you have it. I failed at setting the world record for the largest acid drop ever, but mark my words, I will be back. I'm gonna land that acid drop at Steamer Lane in Santa Cruz, and I'm gonna make it my goal this winter to have the perfect surfboard and the perfect conditions to actually land that trick. And I pretty much wanna say thank you to all the Santa Cruz locals who even let me attempt that. Thanks to all the homies, John Mal, Garrett, G. Witt, and all the boys that pretty much fired me up to even send that in the first place it was an epic trip it was a rad experience and i'm fired up to go back and actually land it so thanks everybody for watching we got new videos coming every week so like comment subscribe support the channel otc